Yo, shout out to the whole Angry Fan Movement. First and foremost, man, shout out to We Go Hard Beat. Go check their battle out. They got Mac Mel versus Freddy Team 20. It dropped. Don't forget, this battle was supposed to be on the high stakes card where the loser sits down for six months. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, this was a big battle right here. Even though the card didn't go down, there was a lot of hype. They've been going back and forth for a very long time. Fire battle, B. I'm talking about fire battle on both ends. I'm not even going to hold you, bro. I'm going to be real with you. Seen the battle twice. I'm giving it to Mac Mel myself. You know what I'm saying? Fetty's pen is crazy. Straight phenomenal. I'm not going to lie to you, B. He had a lot of witty lines in there. A lot of punches in there. Like, a lot. his setups be fire. Like, I rock with Fetty Chain 20. Mac Mel got that, like, he got that sozon. You know what I'm saying? Like, he really be getting busy. I ain't going to hold you, B. And he has the it factor. He has bars, but he has the it factor. And I really think he did his thing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all check that battle out. Trust me, man. This is a dope battle right after the Ishmoolah versus Styles battle, man. We go hard TV. Check it out. I'm going to put the link in my description box. Let me know who you won, who you think won. You know what I'm saying? Straight up and down. Um, Shout out to both of them dudes. Real talk. Shout out to B-City. Yo, check this out, B. Thank y'all for tagging me to Murder Moot and Calico in the studio. I had no clue that Arsenal was responding, you know what I'm saying, to uh, uh, Murder Moot and Calico. Now, now it makes sense. I definitely think a battle's going to go down. Otherwise, why are y'all making diss tracks going back and forth for each other? So, Moot, you bombed on Arsenal, but Arsenal flamed you. Like, yeah, I want to see this battle, bro. I want to see this battle. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. This battle has to go down at this point been a long time coming i really hope it happens this year i don't I, there should not be another year going past where these dudes don't battle man they're both legends let's get this out the way once and for all b you know what i'm saying like straight up and down b i heard the track that mook and kyle was doing it's a dope track it's a dope track i ain't gonna say it's not it's a dope track but arsenal like yeah arsenal went stupid on them. you know what i'm saying that's how I feel about that. So, I didn't know that. So, thanks for letting me know what's going on with that. You know what I'm saying? Now, look. I'm looking now and I see that Snake Eyes is going to be defending the Hardcore uh, Midnight Madness belt versus Tay Rock. Now, I'm going to be real with you. I ain't been talking about Midnight Madness because I don't really know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas know I like the battles and that's what it is. I like the fight club aspect of it where the winner take all. And it just seems like there's a lot of monkey wrenches in it at times. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to throw shade on Midnight Madness, which is why I don't really be talking about it. But I feel like once it was, it, once I peeped that certain people were getting paid automatically, regardless they won or lost, it was just like it took it, it took a little bit away from me from the joint. You know what I'm saying? To be honest with you. And then as far as the hardcore belt goes, it's like this battle needs to be for the belt. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Snake Eyes. Um, very unfortunate situation between you and Stumbles. Very unfortunate. You know what I'm saying? And Tony Brown, whatnot. Shout out to him. Um, and it's, it just seems from there, it just got started getting weird to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, he battled New Jersey Twerk, and I looked at it like, all right. Snake Eyes is looking at it like, yo, what did you do to deserve a title match? Now, if you feel like that, cool. I'm not even tripping about that, I guess. I, I guess I feel like every Midnight Man is, maybe the belt should be in the line. But once again, I'm not a part of that. You see what I'm saying? So he battled Twerk. The judges all said Twerk won, even though it was mad flight delays and all that, whatever the case may be. Like, Twerk won. Cool. It wasn't for the belt. Then they said the belt was supposed to be against Cortez. The belt wasn't on the line versus Cortez because no one from Midnight Madness was showing up. Now, I spoke to Jack. I didn't speak to Jack Boy Man, but he kind of put me on to, uh, what was going on with the whole Cortez Snake Eye situation in a sense. Wasn't no one able to be there, so that wasn't a lie right there. You know what I'm saying? But I, I feel bad for Cortez because it's just like he thought it was for the belt and he didn't find out. I'm seeing in the interview that he's saying he didn't find out till he got there that it wasn't for the belt. It's just It just seemed like Cortez always get the short end of the stick, to be honest with you, bro. The serve battle doesn't happen. Now you battling Snake Eyes for the belt. Now it's not for the belt. It's like Cortez got a black cloud over him in battle rap, and it sucks. You know what I'm saying? Because he's not whack, bro. Like, but it always seemed to be Cortez for some weird reason. You know what I'm saying? I don't get it, B. I don't get it. But um, so now the belt is gonna be against Tay Rock. I think that's a dope look for Snake Eyes. Dope look for Tay Rock. We'll see what happens there. You know what I'm saying? But 
I'm just waiting for the YouTube drops to be at this point, bro. Like, I'm not even trying to talk too much about the belt situation because, like, I don't want the belt to start losing value. But you got to understand, like, to it's weird. It's getting weird. I just got to be honest with y'all. It's getting weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand the, this is for the title. This is not for the title. I'm not really understanding what's going on anymore with this shit. Like, like I don't get it no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get it no more. I'm seeing Bonnie and Miss Hustle going back and forth. And, and, like, I don't know what's going on with Midnight Madness no more, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I rock with it still. I, I think it's a dope concept. It was organic. I like that part, that aspect of it. I definitely like, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Surf, Jack Boy, Man, and Bill Collector. I like what shot started over there, but it is starting to get a little bit weird to me, which is why I don't really be talking about it no more because it's just like, you got to be like in the spaces to know what's going on and all this crazy shit. And it's just like, you know, I don't got time for all that. You know what I'm saying? But it's looking like Snake Guys is going to battle Taywalk for the belt, so... That's a dope look for Snake Eyes regardless. So we'll see how that goes. Who do you have winning? Snake Eyes or Tay Rock? You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. So I, so Cortez battled Snake Eyes. And it wasn't for the belt. Now Snake Eyes said he clearly beat uh, Cortez. But then again, Cortez is saying he clearly beat Snake Eyes. You know what I'm saying? And my condolences to Cortez. He said he, uh, he had a death in his family and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? My condolences there. Um... And he still battled because he wanted to do it for the culture. He wanted to do it for the fans. And then he finds out it's not for the belt. And it's just like, oh, man, this is like, what the hell is going on anymore? I don't know what's going on anymore. You know what I'm saying? And I, I really don't want that hardcore belt to, to, like, lose value, bro. I ain't going front, bro. I don't want to lose value, bro. Like, like Snake Eyes, put that belt up versus Tay Rock, man. Let, 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 let's get this. Back to where it was at before, like nigga, when niggas was amped about this, like, oh snap, this is for the this is for the belt, and that's what it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? And it's like when you battling people, and it's not for the belt. And don't don't get it confused. Jack Boy already said it wasn't Snake Eyes' fault. Like I said, I spoke to Jack Boy, so I know what happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, and my condolences to Jack Boy as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, but for the other battle rapper. For them to find out like via Twitter and whatnot, it's just like it's weird. It's weird. They they should feel some kind of way. Cortez should feel some kind of way. When you think that this is happening and that's not what's happening. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't make no sense right there. I don't this shit. I don't know, man. What's going on, bro? I generally don't know what's going on, though, boy. You know what I'm saying? But I think it is a good look that Snake Eyes is getting the Tay Rock battle. It's gonna be a lot of energy there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, both was dot mob at one point. Damn, neither one of them a dot mob now. That's crazy, right? Now, oh snap, neither one of them a dot mob now. I'm just realizing that. Hell, I heard a track with Rex and somebody else where they was actually clapping at Snake Eyes. This is wild now I think about it. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I'm just giving y'all an update. You know what I'm saying? That this is kind of whatever. It's like Snake Eyes and Tay Rock is getting ready to battle for the belt. That's all I know. You know what I'm saying? Hey, from the fuck up, I'm out of here, B. One.